Hi. Can you hear me? Hi, teacher. Yes. Okay, good, good, good. Um, Hi. Hi. Good evening, teacher. Good evening. Good evening. Um, so you were you were having problems, Jonathan, getting into the class? No, no, no. Uh, I can't enter the class now. Uh, last five minutes, uh, the application uh, sent a message the room um, as ocupado, no sé, algo así, así. Pero ya hice ya, gracias. Thank you. Okay. okay, good, 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 good. Okay, um, I'm glad that everything got solved. Okay, good, good. All right, how is everybody doing? Breve, Michelle, Richard, Lisette, how are you doing? Hi, teacher. Hi, how are you doing? Hi. Fine, thing. and you? Good, good, yeah. So um, have you guys had any problems where you're living uh, with this weather? Internet connection problems, no? Oh, in my case here in Metapan, we don't, we don't have problem with my internet, but yesterday uh, I was some problems, oh. but now, now no, but, but it's raining. It was raining uh, all day. Oh, okay. Yeah, uh, yeah, it's been raining a lot as well here. Um, but mostly, well, in, in here in San Salvador, it's been like drizzling, like all day it's been drizzle, 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 drizzle. Yeah, you understand drizzle, right? This will like like a, no. a little bit of rain. It's constantly going. Well, so that's that's drizzle. Oh, okay. Yeah. So drizzle. sorry. The the pronunciation of that is drizzle. Drizzle. Yeah. Yeah. I'll I'll write it drizzle. in the in the chat so you can see. Okay. So drizzle, or it's also um, yeah, drizzle, um, or you can say that it's drizzling. You can say it's drizzling, or it's spitting. Both of them are possible. Yeah. Okay. So okay, thank you. Yeah, you're welcome. Yeah. So um yeah, so it's been drizzling all day, like drizzle, 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 drizzle. Um it, it has stopped right now. That's a good thing, right? Um yeah. It stopped. Yeah. Um yeah, because a lot of a lot of people has a big problem with the water levels. Yeah, yeah, exactly. What I have been having uh, during the day is uh, internet connection problems. So I don't know mm -hmm. if at some moment uh, we end up having some some problems with connection. <laughs> it's probably because of that. Um, but other than that, we'll, 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 hopefully it will work. Um, have you guys had any problems with the with the platform? Class, have you had problems with the platform? Rebe, have you had problems with the platform? Um, no, I don't have a problem with the platform. Okay. I so finished the second stage. Okay, uh, I, I would like to send uh, 
uh, answer a question because don't accept my answer. I think the answer is correct, but uh, I don't know. I think that on the platform we have a problem. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, 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 after the class, I sent a screenshot the with the um, question and the answer, and I would like to help me. Um, teacher, in my case, I have problems too with the section 1.9 and 2.10. With 1.9 and 1.10. Is that what you said? 1.9 and 2.10. Oh, 1.9 and 2.10. Yes. Okay. Um, because I see. Teacher, but, but, but the, the, the platform says that it is incorrect. Uh -huh. So 2.10, 1 1.9. Yeah. Um, there's only one problem. Right now, I um, Yeah, uh, let's see. I think the, the, the platform has uh, some problems. Yeah, exactly. That's what I was going to so That's exactly they, what I'm reading right now. I'm, I'm reading um, in their groups uh, from uh, for the teachers. They're, they're, they're talking about um, there being problems. Um, this is at a national international level. There are problems in the server. Um, so yeah, that's that's the problem that right now you you, you not, might not be able to get into the platform because uh, of the of the problem. And in the case of um, in the case of um, yeah. Hmm, that's weird. Oh, um, okay. Yeah, so right now I won't be able to actually help you, unfortunately. I won't be able to help you with the with the exercises because the server is down. So I, I can't do very much about that right now, but I will look at it once, once it starts working again, I will be able to, um, to help you. Uh, and I'll, I'll take a look at it and maybe I can post it on the group. Does that work? Is that okay? Guys, is that okay? In, is that okay? In, in that, okay, okay, but in that moment, it doesn't work. Nothing. So yeah, in this moment, it doesn't work. Okay, yeah. okay. Yeah, so... Uh, so in this moment, I, I won't be able to help you guys with the um, with the platform, okay? Um, okay, okay. Okay, all right guys. Um, so what we're gonna do right now, um, I just want to, uh, well, yesterday we were talking a little bit about uh, making um eh, or better said how how to ask about uh, about um, catching up on news right so if somebody um, has um, if somebody has been eh, what's the word if somebody has been um, doing something different in the last few days uh, you can talk about okay so, I'm going to show you a little bit here. So we're talking about um, people having a, 
like new something something new that they ha that has happened to them then we can or not yes maybe not necessarily something new but something that they have they have been doing for some time we can use uh the let me just change my color the color Okay, present perfect continuous, and we're going to be looking at the questions, right? Okay, so for the questions, uh, we're going to be asking exactly the same. Uh, already said so we're going to be doing the exact same structure that we do for questions. The only difference is that now we're going to start with it. Uh, we're going to start with the auxiliary. So the what is the auxiliary of the present per perfect? Continuous. What is the auxiliary um, have, you use? Have, have or has. Have. Very good. Have or has. Exactly. So that's what we're going to start with. Um, so we're going to start with have or has. And subject, I'm going to change this. Subject. Uh huh. Good, the subject. What else? Plus Ben. Plus Ben. Yes, very good. Um, plus verb um, uh, with ing okay. and plus complement. Good. Although that's not necessary, but only if you want. And the question signs, and finally. Uh -huh, exactly, very good. And don't forget that, that's important. Okay. Hmm. Okay, there we go. All right, so that's how we're gonna be using it, right? We're always gonna do it like this. It's also possible, um, oops. Um, it's also possible it to put a question word at the top at the beginning sorry so the question words are usually um like the wh question words right usually that's how it works um, so we would be saying something like, um, um, like how, 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 what, where, when, et cetera, et cetera. Okay. So it's not necessary. That's why I put it in parentheses. Okay. But just for you guys to, to know that it is possible. Okay. Um, okay, so let me put this in a nice box. Um, okay, so there it is. Okay, so like I said, uh, the WH question word, for example, the, these could be some examples. Um, okay. Yeah, um, I was just looking at the, uh, I was looking right now at the, at um, the information they're telling us. Uh, that what it says, I'm gonna actually, I'm gonna read it textually, it says here. Um, el servidor con el cual está relacionado uh, con la plataforma no es del país. Por lo cual, um, so that's why it's, um, 
there are some problems right now because it's not from here. It's not, um, it's something that's more internationally. That's why there are, there are problems on the server. So um, you were just gonna have to be patient and wait. Um, anyways, going back to this, we could have questions like this. So I'm gonna give you an example. For example, you can say, what have you been doing lately? That could be a question, right? What have you been doing lately? Okay. Or um, how many languages, languages have you been studying? Uh, or for example, which, um, Uh, which, um, or better said, no. Who have you, who, who have you been dating in the last, last year? Could be a question, okay, et cetera, et cetera. Okay. Um, so other, other example, which car had you been driving? Yeah. Okay. Which car have, which car have you, been you been driving, driving uh, recently? Okay. Okay. Et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. I'm just showing you here different ideas, right? Okay. So you can clearly see that we do have a, we have the question word. Okay. So in auction and all of them, we have question words, but it's not necessary, right? So we have a question word, what and how and who, right? Actually, this one is, is actually a little bit more than just how. Um, this one is how many. Actually, it's this whole thing here. How many languages? This part, the language part is part of the question there. Okay. So, how many languages? Okay. And this one is which car? Then over here we have a the the auxiliary have. Here we have have. Actually, you know what? I'm gonna change something. I want to change something. There we go. All right, and so we have that. Have, and in this one we're using has, right? So that's why I'm saying you can use either have or has, right? And then after that, we have the subject, right? And in this case, the subject is you. Here it's you as well. This one is you. She. Um, then we use, um, we have the bin. Okay. And if you notice, all of them has, has the, have the word bin in them all of them. It's always going to be there. Okay. And finally, well, we have the verb plus ing. In this case, it's doing. In this one, it's studying. 
In this one, it's dating. And in this one, it's driving. Okay. And then finally, we have the complement. The complement, however, is not necessary. Okay, so um, okay, so we have a complement here, but it's not necessary. In this one, we have a complement, but if you notice, in the next one, there is no complement. In this one also too, there's a complement. In this one, there is no complement. Sorry, there's a complement as well. Okay, so is that clear for everybody? Yeah, it's clear. Yeah, okay. So what I want you guys to do right now is prepare uh, three questions that, I, that you would like to ask your classmates. Three questions. Okay, okay. Okay. Are we finished? No teacher. No? No, no, no. No. So any questions that you would like to ask your classmates about things that they have been doing in the past few, you know, months, years, weeks, days. If you guys have any questions, you can go ahead and ask me. Okay. Okay, you guys ready? Uh, three questions. Just three Only? questions. Okay, yeah. Okay, all right, perfect. Yeah. Everybody is ready too? 
Yeah. Yeah, everybody? Class? Mm -hmm. Guys, we're ready? Yeah, I'm ready. Okay. Yeah, teacher. Good, good, good. Okay. Um, so, I'm going to stop sharing here. And what I'm going to ask you to do, I'm going to give you about, uh, I'm going to give you about six minutes. We're going to be working in pairs. And I want you to um, uh, go ahead. We're going to go into breakout rooms and you're going to ask each other the questions that you have prepared. Okay. So. Okay, I have created the room so you can go ahead. Oh, hold on, just give me a second. So six minutes there to discuss with your partners. Okay, here you go. Go ahead and join. That is something that continue practice because in the past I practice football and soccer, but I don't practice anymore. <laughs> really? Why? Yeah. You don't have time. No, because I practice soccer when I was in the school when I studied around maybe. Eighth grade. Okay. The basic, the, ba the basic is cool. Okay. What else? The next, the next is which language have you studied more? Uh, I, I have been practiced, so I have been uh, learned English for a long time, but, but I think it's not, English is not what, you know, it's not easy for me, easier for me because, um, I know. I, I think we need to 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 put more time and yes, more and practice more. effort. Effort, and we need to practice a lot. And we need to I need to think Hi, Rania and Sonia. Can you hear me? Rania, Sonia, can you hear me? Hi, teacher. Hi. What happened? Uh, maybe Rania don't have connection because 
I can hear her. Her. You can't hear her. She doesn't have connection. Maybe. Um, okay, me, uh, Irania, would if you can hear us, do you think you can write in the chat and say that you can hear us? We'll just wait. Maybe she's having trouble opening her microphone, but that she can't hear us. So we'll just try. Sometimes that happens that the person can hear you, but they can't open the microphone. Okay. Sonia, listen to me. Yes. All right, there we go. Okay, girls. So do you understand what you have to do? Um, have the, the question? Yeah. Mm -hmm. okay. Correct, yes. Um, ask the questions that you created. Okay, so I'll leave you to, to chat. Okay, I'm gonna go to the other, uh, the other breakout room. Okay, thank you. Okay, you're welcome. ¿Qué mascota estarías refiriendo? Uh, ah, ok. Cats or dog. Oh my God. Is... Which pet have you been preferring? I have been prefer dog. Dog, ok. Yeah. Re really, I don't like. Cats, no. Dog. I don't like cat. I don't like dog. But, but I prefer I prefer oh. though. Okay, okay. Um, well, there... Let me tell you, let me, let me uh, answer your question, Jonathan, uh -huh, okay. okay? Hold on. Okay, sorry. sorry. <laughs> well, uh, I have been, uh, I have been preparing or loving dogs in my whole okay. life. And actually, I have four dogs, two boys okay. and two girls. And oh my God. <laughs> those are Siberian Husky. I have two adults and two puppies, and I love them. Everyone, I love, I love them so much. Like all right, all right. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Excellent. Um, do you like to ask any question? Yes, okay. What okay. have you been cooking for lunch lately? Uh, cooking for lunch, uh, I I have been um, been soap with, with, with um, I don't know, I don't I don't say You can don't. make it up, you can invent the answer. Ben. Oh no! Be, uh, I have, I have been cooking beans soup, red bean soup, and mm -hmm. uh, corn, um, <laughs> carrots with a little cheese, uh, cheese and a avocado, and pepper, pepper, uh, pepper, <laughs> yeah, yeah, onions and garlic. Uh, yeah. I love yeah, this kind of soup. Yeah, I like to uh, bean soap. And what about you, Claudia? I graduated two years ago and I was studying English only for 10 months because for for graduate is requirements starting 10 levels of english requirements uh, requirement mm -hmm. yeah okay In the unique life university yes uh, yeah is um, obligation i think yeah. so 
<laughs> Great. The English is necessary for. Okay, so I think I have everybody here. Um, well, not everybody, I've missed some people. I don't know what happened to them. Maybe they're having problems with the connect, internet connection. Um, yeah, there, there has been problems with um, with uh, GLADO. So maybe some people are having problems there. Um, who said that they were having problems with the platform in exercise 1.9 and 2.10? Who said that? Nobody here? Who, do you guys remember somebody? I forgot right now. Who asked me for, for help for the exercises of 2.10 and 1.9 on the platform? I don't remember who asked that question. Maybe it's somebody the left. Okay, I was just going to ask because um, I actually have the platform ready now. It, it, apparently, it's working now again. Okay, so uh, anyways, uh, we'll, we'll answer that question, I guess, tomorrow. Okay, so guys, uh, what we're going to do right now, we're now going to be learning um, a little bit about adjectives. But these are not just regular adjectives. These are adjectives that we use uh, when we are or better said, not when we are describing an object or the way that we feel, okay? These are actually what we call um, participles as adjectives. So I'm gonna show you there. Okay, let's see. Okay, so these are participles. Participles as adjectives. Oops, adjectives. Adjectives. Okay, participles as adjectives. So, um, so remember what participles are, right? Participles are, um, we have two types of participles, the present and the past, okay? Present participles and past participles, okay? Um, just so that you are clear on what I'm talking about, Have present and we have past. Okay. To give you an example, what is the present participle of the verb work? No. Let's say work. The past of work. Mm -hmm. Present, no, pre present. 
participle of work? Work. Worked. No, present participle of work. Present participle. Sorry? Have working. Just the, pre the present participle. Only just the present, just the present participle. Only one word. Work. Mm, nope. Present participle. Working. Sorry? Working. Yes, very good. The present participle of work is working. Okay, that's the present participle. What is okay. the past participle of work? The present participle is the same that present continues. No. A present con the present continuous contains a present participle. Just like the present perfect contains a past participle. So to create the present continuous, we need to have a present participle. Does that make sense? This worked. Okay, yeah, you're, you're absolutely right, uh, Jonathan. The past participle would be worked. Okay, but you said, does that make sense for you? Yes, it does. Yeah, okay, all right. Yeah. So, Okay, and I'll give you another one. Present participle of uh, play. Playing. Sorry? Playing. Sorry, what was that again? Playing. Yeah, you said? But yes, you playing. Playing, very good. Okay, so we have playing. All right. And what is the um, the past participle of uh, play? Play. Play. Good. So um, the reason why I'm showing you this is basically because what I want you to see is that present participles um, contain what form? Present participles contain the ing. ing. Okay. And past participles contain ed. Exactly. When we're talking about regular verbs. Okay. So when I'm talking about participles as adjectives, I'm basically talking about verbs, or better said, uh, adjectives that finish in an ing or an ed. Does that make sense? Uh, but the regular bird don't, don't, the same adjective. Oh, no, no. I just, I just wanted to show you what a, a present participle is and a past participle is, but these are not adjectives. I'm just showing you what a participle is. Okay, a participle is a, a present participle is with the ing form, and a past participle is with an ed form, okay? But these okay. are not adjectives, okay? So I'm just going to clarify that because I don't want you guys to, um, I don't want you to get confused and say, um, you know, teacher, but the, you know, you, you told us that this was, um, that these were past participles and this one's a present participle, um, but no. So I'm gonna write here. Not okay. Um, these are participles, but not adjectives. Okay. So I just want to clarify that. I don't I don't want you guys getting all confused and saying, but the teacher said that those were past participles. 
sorry, those were adjectives. And no, that's not what I'm actually saying. I'm, what I'm just, I'm just showing you that, um, I'm just showing you that it past, the, the, the past part, the present participles finish in ing and past participles uh, finish in ed. Okay, now, but right now what we're gonna look at, what we really wanna learn about it's not just about participles. We want to learn about uh, adjectives. Okay, that's what really we're interested in. Okay, we want to look at the adjectives here. Okay, so basically, some examples of um, some examples of adjectives that are present. For example, would be. Let's see, let's see. Okay. Example we have a boring, oops, boring, interesting. Um, could be a tiring. Amazing. Okay. Exciting. Exciting. Yeah, exactly. Exciting. And blah, 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 blah. Okay. So those would be, these are adjectives and they are in the present with the present participle. Okay. These are adjectives. And in the case of the past participle, what's the past participle of boring? Bored. Exactly, very good. Bored. Past participle of interesting? Um, interested. Good, interested. Interested, yes. Past participle of tiring? Tired. Tired. Good. Past participle of amazing. Amazed. Amazed. Good. Past participle of exciting. Excited. Excited. Very good. So, does this make sense for everybody? Yeah. Yeah. The adjectives don't. The adjectives don't. Verbs don't action. But yeah. actually, they uh, are what well, um, in, in Spanish, calificar. Oh, yeah, they, they are descriptive. They are descriptive. Are characteristic, yeah, of the subject. Yes, very good. They describe, they um, describe the characteristics of the nouns. Absolutely, yeah. So these ones, these ones are past participles, and they are adjectives as well. Okay. Those are these. These are participles and adjectives. Okay. So these ones are the two. They can't qualify for both of them. Okay. Now the question is, when do I use boring and when do I use bored? When do I use interesting and when do I use interested and so on? That's the real question we wanna know here. And basically what it is, is that we use the present participles. But, but teacher. Yeah. In that case, depends who produce you. Good. For for example, I feeling boring 
with some movie. But the movie was born. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Good. Okay. Exactly. You, you, you pretty much understand the idea. So just to clarify what uh, Lisette was saying, uh, in the present participle, the reason why we use the present participle is to describe what is it this describes the situation or thing that causes a feeling. Okay, so that's basically how we use it. It's used to describe to describe the situation or thing that causes a feeling. Okay, so I can say, like for example, we said um, made a very good example. She said that the that the movie was boring. In this case, she is describing the movie. Okay. Okay, so that's a thing that caused the feeling of boredom, the movie, right? Or I can say, for example, um, eh, I can say that um, eh, the situation with the coronavirus is frightening, frightening. It causes me to feel frightened, okay, or scared, that's what it means, okay? Um, eh, I could say that, um, you know, eh, I don't know, getting married is something that is exciting, for example. Exciting, so we're talking about the situation here. Here we're, we're getting married. That's the situation causes, the situation of getting married causes me or somebody to feel exciting, it's, uh, the excitement, feels excitement. So that's when we would use the present uh, participle. Does that make sense? Yes. Yeah, teacher. Yeah, teacher. Okay, good. Now, in the case of the past participle, when do we use the past participle? We use it when we are describing how um how the person how a person feels okay so describe or describes how a person feels okay so this is the how how the person's feeling the person's feeling um boredom, interest, uh, tiredness, amazement, excitement. And this is the one that causes, that's a thing. Or it could, um, sorry, you know what? I forgot to mention here. It's not just the, I'm gonna change that here. So it could be situation, thing, or also person. A person can also cause a feeling okay so i could cause you to feel bored i could cause you to feel interest i could cause you to feel tiredness i could cause you to feel amazement i can cause you to feel excitement okay so it's, it can also be a person that causes the feeling okay is that clear for everybody yeah okay okay Thank you, sir. all right so it could be it could be a number of things that cause the feeling. Okay, but this one is directly how the person feels. All right. Okay, so guys, any questions that you have before we finish? No. No, teacher. No? No, teacher. Okay. No. All right. So what I want you to do, I want you to think about um, five feelings, right? Um, you know, excitement, it could be any kind of feeling, right? Boredom, excitement, amazement, um, frightened, uh, uh, something that's frightening, etc, etc. And I want you to make sentences, both 
uh, the, the situation or the person or the thing that causes the feeling and the other one of the person that feels it. So for each one, you will have, for example, if you use the word bore, boredom, you will have bored and you will have boring. So in total, you will have 10 sentences. Does that make sense? Okay. Okay, so that will be for tomorrow. Okay, I want you to create 10 sentences using okay. five different feelings. Okay? Yeah, 10 sentences. Yeah, 10 sentences, two for each one. Is that clear for everybody? Can you repeat clear? it, teacher? Pardon me? Sorry, Claudia? Can you repeat? Okay. Ten sentences? You're going to have five feelings. And for each feeling, you're going to use one part present participle and one past participle. So in total, you will have 10 sentences, two for each feeling. Okay. Okay, so like bored, boring, amaze, amazing, and so on. Okay, sounds good? Okay. Okay, guys. All right, it's been great seeing you guys again. Uh, remember tomorrow we have class. Tomorrow is the day that we make up for Monday's class. So don't forget that we will see each other tomorrow. Okay. 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 Bye. Okay. Bye. 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 Good night. Bye, Bye. Bye. everybody. Good night. Yeah. See Bye. you tomorrow. See you tomorrow.